I want to talk about the bigger things. I want to talk about the stuff from a mind, body, spirit level that not only will help you be more productive, which in my mind, being productive means that you are making progress on things that matter. See, to me, productivity isn't about being busy. You're not going to uh, go to your grave and wish that somebody wrote on it, boy, could he or she get through a to-do list? Like being busy, racing around, getting a ton of unimportant things done, feeling distracted and reactive, that's not the game that you want to play. Being productive in my mind means being so focused and confident and in control and connected to yourself that you are able to make progress on the things that matter to you. That you are able to stay focused and confident and connected to your values when the game starts to change, when life gets chaotic. This type of productivity isn't outside of you in terms of the things that you do. It's about building tools within yourself so that you can come back into your own power when life gets tumultuous or chaotic or uncertain or when the things you've been working on don't work out. Research from Dr. Judy Willis, who is one of the world's leading neuroscientists. She was with UCLA for a long time, tons of research studies. Her research proves that it is impossible for your brain to effectively focus when your nervous system is on edge. It is impossible, I'm gonna say it again, for your brain to effectively focus when your nervous system is on edge. And the reason why you've got to learn how to high five your heart is because it is a science backed tool that will switch you from a state where what's called your sympathetic nervous system, your sympathetic nervous system, you have two nervous systems in your body. Your sympathetic nervous system is the nervous system that is activated when you're feeling anxious, when you're on edge, when your heart is racing when you feel like the next shoe is about to drop, when you watch the news, psychologists call it a dysregulated nervous system. And the fact of the matter is, I do not need to be a medical doctor to tell you. Right now, you have a dysregulated nervous system. It would be impossible for you to have survived the last 18 months and the world that we've been living in and not wake up and feel on edge and not wake up and feel like something else is about to happen. Everything is changing, which puts your nervous system in a state where it's waiting for something to happen. Now, when you're in that state, it's very hard for you to change behavior. It's very hard for you to learn new things, anything. It's very hard for you to do creative work. It's very hard for you to be productive and focused and calm. And so I'm going to teach you this incredible tool that you can use at any moment when you start to feel the stress level rise. And it could be any moment. You could be texting a friend and you see the three dots coming up and you feel the wave. You could have just sent an email and it's a really big pitch and it's somebody you admire and you're like, oh, are they going to write back? And you feel the stress come up. It could be any moment you could be on a plane and they say we're going to have to have an emergency landing which is a true story in one of these books and you can feel your nervous system brace anytime you feel on edge you can use the high five to the heart to activate science to get you grounded back in your body and to flip on what's called your parasympathetic nervous system your parasympathetic nervous system is your calm and your cool nervous system and this is, the, this is the nervous system that you need in order to feel a calm, striving sense of productivity. If you want to feel in control, this is the fastest way to do it. And here's how you do it. Put your hand on the heart, or I've got big mitts, so I put my hands kind of right here because then it touches my heart. Now, when you put your hands here and press against your chest, what you're going to do is you're going to be stimulating what's called your vagus nerve. When you high five your heart, we're going to do it together. And then I'm going to explain the science of what's happening. 
first of all, we're going to take a deep breath together. Okay, so here we go. Then you're going to repeat three sentences to yourself while you hold your hands against your heart. You're going to say, and you, I'm going to say it and pause so then you can say it. Here we go. I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. And what's going to happen is you're going to repeat that to yourself. You can say it out loud. You can say it to yourself. You can think it. I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. And there may be some mornings that you do this 53 times. There'll be some mornings that you do it once. If you can say those three sentences, I'm okay. I'm safe. I'm loved. While your hands are right here. You want to know what? It's true. In this moment, despite the fact that there's all kinds of stuff going down and your nervous system is on edge, you are safe, you are okay, and you are loved. And you're actually demonstrating that to yourself and your brain sees it. Now, the reason why your hands go here on your heart is because the vagus nerve, which I've talked about in a couple of the trainings on growth day, because it is a treasure inside your body that you need to know how to use. Your vagus nerve runs all the way from your seat through every major organ, through your vocal cords, and up to the top of your head. When you put your hands on this part of your body, you are toning the vagus nerve. When you start to repeat those sentences, I'm okay, I'm safe, I'm loved, you are activating the vagus nerve, and it is the on-off switch between your sympathetic, on-edge, dysregulated, stressed-out nervous system and your parasympathetic, calm, cool, centered, grounded, in control nervous system. Every single morning, I have the same habits. I wake up when the alarm rings and I count five, four, three, two, one, and I get out of bed. I then put my hands on my heart and I give my heart a high five. And I say those same three sentences over and over until I feel myself grounded in my body. One of the reasons why the exterior world, the chaos around us, all the uncertainty, and let's not forget the sustained situation that you've been living through, which has caused you to feel on edge and to feel stressed out. You're not the only one. We are all emotionally gassed. This is why it's hard for you to focus. A lot of it has to do with your nervous system. And that's why I want you to practice this. And it does work if you have a mindfulness or a meditation or some other type of mindfulness practice. It does work hand in hand with these things. I'm here to tell you, you have to start to take advantage of what happens when you become in control of your own body and nervous system response. It is a game changer, game changer. You will be less triggered. You will be more focused. You will feel more energized. You will be able to direct your attention on what you want. You will not feel emotionally spent at the end of the day because you know how to bring yourself back into your body.